What it do, what it do, what it do, what it do. It is I, it is me, it is your boy E to the R to the I to the C. And this right here is another Life of Times to Air it. And like usual. Yes. And and then the back is. And then the, <laughs> Yes, baby. And then the back is my co-host, T-Mac. Uh, Heart Boogie's not here today because Heart Boogie's hanging out with mommy right now. She had a doctor's appointment. And Heart Boogie, Heart Boogie had been a little fussy over the weekend. And now we figured out why she had been fussy. Because Heart Boogie had an ear infection. Um, but luckily for us, even though she had an ear infection. But like I said before, we're back because Heart Boogie had a doctor's appointment today. They checked her. She was supposed to get her shots, but she couldn't get some shots because Heart Boogie over the weekend has been fussy. We kept figuring out, like, why has she been fussy? We thought maybe it's her teeth or maybe it's a stomach bug. Turns out Heart Boogie had an ear infection in both ears. What? Heart Boogie had an ear infection in both ears. Usually for Taylor's, oh, she only had an infection. Usually Taylor only had an infection in one ear, not both ears. But I will commend Heart Boogie because she's resilient and strong. She had a little fever, went up to 100, and then it went right back down and went away. Taylor, when she used to get infections, they used to go up and wouldn't come back down. And then it would just be up, 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 whole time, up, whole time. We give her some medicine, and then they go back up. Give her some medicine, and go back up. And finally, we figure out what to do after the 12th, like the fifth or sixth ear infection. But Heart Boogie, She's had been fussy, so that means she's had an infection, fought it off, made it go away, fought it back, all that. So she's got the heart of a lion in her, so that means she gets it from my dad. Because I'm the type I would fight off an ear infection without even me knowing it, or cold without even me knowing it. Like, wait, first lady likes to tell her, she likes to tell her, like, I caught COVID, and I don't even know because I guess I fought it off. But, you know, like I said before, I ain't never catch COVID. She, she always tried to put it on me. So, I can tell already that my girls got the heart of a lion in them, you know, they resilient, um, and I love that about them. T-Mac back here, my co-host, she's more of a leader, initiative, a helper. Harper is very observant, watching, but she still got that little, little sister vibe in her. She don't want to kick, she don't want to hold her own milk. She wants you to hold her milk for her, and you would think, uh, does she not want to use her motor skills? But then she'll turn around while I'm feeding her, snatch the spoon out of my hand, and then feed herself with the spoon, but doesn't want to hold the milk. So she has the motor skills, but she has a tendency sometimes to want to be baby. But they said that's the little, that's the younger sibling syndrome, so who knows? I don't know. I don't feel like I was like that as a younger sibling, but who knows? Maybe I was, maybe I wasn't. But I turned out to be resilient, I turned out to be ambitious, I turned out to be very outgoing, so you never know. My older brother, he's the same way. He's very outgoing as well, too. So, very high helps for both of my children. Or the very first two children. We still plan to have another one and another one. Because we've already uh, claimed it and received it. EJ is here. He's just waiting to come on out to make his entrance. The EJ is here. You know, you know, Eric Brothers Jr. is already here. So, with that being said, uh, today has been another day at work. Uh, it was an interesting one. Had a client call. Uh, it went really well. It was mostly me on the phone with all women. I was talking to the CEO of their company. Their company's been around for about 20 years. I had not heard of them before. Um, but first lady heard of them before. She was like, they got this, they got this ATM, they got that. And it was like a, a big thing for them. But it's uh it's a it's a big thing for them. They've been doing big things, they got their first product now. And uh, in this one of the stores I'm working with, so it's been pretty interesting. It's been pretty cool, I must say. So this this is the first time working with us. And I'm gonna be leading the, the charge for that project. I told them another project before that I worked on that they they knew other people. I told them they go look it out. They can go see. I guess they probably did go on Instagram to look, and I could be like, yeah, I led that that led that charge as well too. So you know, it worked out well. I mean, it was a hiccup or two on that project. But, but, but the 90% of it, it was great. And the one hiccup was they were trying to go to a certain store to take pictures. And everything else is perfectly fine, though. So 
Yeah. And I had to get on them. I got them to pay in four days, unlike before when it took them three months to pay. So, yeah, but whatever. Um, long story short, that I had that um, deal with another client that was like, yo, what's going on? You know, my stuff. Turns out we pushed their stuff back. We're only supposed to push back one of them. But they kept procrastinating, so we ended up pushing both back. What happened, baby? We had to push back both their uh, assignments. I thought I, I was under the impression we we're going to be pushing back one of them. My supervisor got it, and he ended up pushing back both their little activities. So, yeah, which crazy because I feel like they said sent stuff to the store earlier, but who knows? That, but that's what happens when you work with us. You gotta have your stuff already together. All that I gotta get this and get that. That ain't gonna work. You need to have it all ready to go. I've already I've learned that now. Have your stuff all together because if you ask anybody to keep waiting on you, waiting on you when you want to launch at a certain time, it'd be different if you're like, yo, I want to launch two months from now. And you're doing it now. You got time. But if you're on a certain deadline, we got deadlines. I gotta have your stuff rolling and, and to go 18 days in advance. Then on top of that, 18 days in advance, rolling it and get ready to go. I gotta have so, so much time to go to the printer, the distributor, and anybody else that's involved in this. So it's best to plan three or four months out in advance. You do that, you're good to go. Won't be no problems. That's what the people today I had to call. They don't launch till March. They will get they want their stuff to get going now. So by the time March comes, it won't be no problem. I, I pretty much have all the information. I have all the stores that they want to go into which stores do well I have that information to share with them and then I'll be able to get because they're like we don't know which stores we should go into so I got to find that information from our side once I get that information to them let them look at it they'll figure it out um, and then we'll decide we'll pick together they'll pick the stores around their, their headquarters and boom we go out to lunch but they're doing it now early a month out in advance you don't want to be doing stuff like this three weeks in advance you don't want to do stuff like that you want to do it early because the earlier the better we can have it in the activity it can be planned it can be ready to rock and roll so there won't be no hiccups the other people they had something done and they we don't we don't got the other stuff we don't got this so when you start doing all that waiting then you start doing all the delaying and then you be like we're gonna push stuff back stuff gets intruded wrong they said push the second wave back not the first wave my supervisor saw it as he wanted both of them he wanted both of them to be pushed back so he pushed both of them back mind me i read it as you know, you wanted the second wave pushed back, not the first. But once again, emails are, are very indecisive. And de deceptive. When I say emails are deceptive, I mean like I read it as push the second wave back, not the first wave. But he read it as push both waves back. Now you're probably wondering, like, why are you stepping to say something, Eric? Because I was under the impression he was reading it like me. By saying, hey, the second way gonna go, but no, he was reading it as he was zooming, zooming through the email. So he just went and did it. So it's like a it's a lot going on when you have when you push constantly push your stuff back. If you already have this stuff together, we don't have to push it back. So you have to factor and stuff like that happening. So that's happening. Oh well. Now I just need them to pay. They gotta pay, and I need the other people, the, uh, the YouTuber, to the YouTubers uh, people to pay. Once they pay. We'll be all right. I got them. I got them doing some stuff already. Got it locked out. I gotta look. I gotta check on that tomorrow and see what's going on. So, like I said before, if the job paid a decent amount, it would be cool. I would be here. No one would leave. But they don't really pay. And no matter how cool of a clients I run into, I gotta do what's best for me and my family. And I gotta do what's best for me and my family, and me and the hustle. Because you understand when you get paid a, a amount to live and you can pay your bills and you have discretionary income like I had before my other jobs, it makes life a lot better. Then you can go out and eat as much as you want. You can do extra stuff. Like lately, I've had to cut back on eating out because I don't have the extra discretionary income like I want. And I had to cut back on a lot of other things. I just can't go to Chipotle like I want to and walk out. And I use I usually like to use a lot of my discretionary income on my business. You know, fund the business because you know a lot of times if you're not getting funding or grant money because they being cheap and not giving it to you, but they give it to other people who ain't got a proven ability of their business. You know, 
you gotta fund your own business. You know, fund your own CPG, especially. You know, stuff like that. So, you know, when you don't have that extra day discretionary income, you gotta cut back on funding that. You know, so it sucks. It, it's, uh, it sucks a lot. But I'm gonna make it do what it do. The Lord gonna bless me, and it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Trust, trust and believe. It's gonna happen. So with that, all that being said, today was a very interesting day. Uh, the meeting was, was, was cool, I must say. It was cool talking to the CEO. She got on there. She was cool. They told me they wanted to send me some samples. I know First Lady would be happy. So I'm going to make sure I send, I'm going to send them the, the, the store list and then my address so they can send me some samples. I'm, I mean, I'm a treat. I always like trying new products. Plus, on top of that, I'm ready for somebody to send me some. Shoot, how much stuff that I got to do for the clients on the back end and whatever? Y'all just don't know. I always take care of your client manager. You'd be surprised what they'll, what they'll do extra for you. I've seen clients, I've seen people go the extra mile for their clients that they looked out for. And I've seen ones not go the extra mile and be like, nah, I can't do that. Because they didn't take care of them. So, I always take care of your people, man. Client managers, people ain't dealing with your fools. I would tell people, if you can't take care of people in, in the service or anything, take care of them, man. You'd be surprised. Most people don't get a real thank you or a, here, here, here's a little something for you. You'd be surprised people remember that. Like, man, that man, that man just said thank you, man. Or he just sent me a $5 gift card for, for, for Starbucks. That means a lot. And I know some of y'all probably thinking, well, I'm paying y'all. Y'all should be good. But not everybody that you deal with is getting paid correctly. They might just be for that for a short time and be thinking, man, this this sucks. You need to do something nice for them to set their day. Something that you already probably doing for a thousand other people. That ain't nothing to them. You no? Know? Trust me, I know. I remember somebody was busting my table. I, mean, I gave that man just a five dollar gift card right before he about to bust our table. You know what I'm saying? Five dollars, I think. Five dollar tip before we even start. I was like, here you go, man, here's a tip, because I know you'll probably be back later to bust us or break it down. That man's like, hey, I got y'all. Bro, moved us from that table to another table. Had the service flowing all day flowing before we even started. What's up, baby? What's up? What's wrong? Huh? You're welcome. So, it's a little thing. It's a little thing. And oh yeah, I'm back in my green sweatshirt again. I mean, tomorrow I might wear just a my Blockbuster shirt. I don't know. I might not. I'll pack it right there. I think, I think it's being washed. Harper threw up on it. Yeah, Harper, I forgot to mention that Harper was out there throwing up like the exorcist this weekend. I was like, oh, 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 Her head wasn't spinning around, but if it had spinning around, I promise you, I'd have been like, ah, oh, get that baby away from me. Now I'm playing. I wouldn't have done my own child. I would have been like, baby, get, it. No, I'm like, get out of my baby. Get out of my baby. <laughs> daddy, get yeah, out my baby. Get out of my baby. Daddy, mommy, yeah. Say, get out of my baby. Get out of my baby. Yeah, baby. She getting that, though. I'm telling you, man. That, that, that talking is getting better each and every day. I'm sure. Pretty soon she's going to be back there. Father, I would like you to turn your video off and put faith on, please. Yes, baby, yes. <laughs> what can I do for you, baby? Are you good? Are you okay? Okay. So, yeah. Me, I can't, you know. But it is what it is. We're gonna make it do what it do and know it's just a speed bump. Something better. We're learning a lot. We get a lot of project management under, my, under our belt, I tell you that. This is project management on steroids. Steroids. But yeah, we're still looking. Um, along with doing everything else, man. I've been I haven't applied for anything lately. Cause um, I've been cutting up these videos and cutting up shorts. And uh, looking to get my stuff placed on uh, TikTok again. I had a schedule for TikTok. I need to get scheduled for TikTok for the next six, seven days. And I need to schedule the reels out for YouTube and Facebook. I 
they only need to let it roll on Facebook so I can just let it rip, 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 rip on Facebook. Seven times a year, baby. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, man, so it's just been, uh, it's, the crazy part is, if I had to come home and, and babysit one kid and then another kid, I'd probably be done with a lot of stuff around there. Because I know, I mean, I know how I work. I could do, I could, I, I, I could post of, I could, I could rip schedule and post at least a, in one night 120 videos. Easily. Probably about an hour, two hours tops. Two hours tops. No gym. If I'm going to the gym, if I'm, if I'm working on a schedule with no kids, no gym, yeah, two hours. With gym, two hours, but it might be going into the night. I probably got gym 6, 30, 7, 9. I finish by 11 or 12. I can do it. No, hands down. Now, they're already ripped and it's already uploaded. Hour. If they have it, it may take me a little long. But now with kids, oh no, it's hard. But once I get finished, once we finish feeding this one, T Mat, then I gotta watch the other one, uh, Heart Boogie. So, and then sometimes she's been, like I said, she's been fussy lately. So, yeah. Which reminds me, we're supposed to pick up that medicine. And First Lady didn't call me. So I'm under the impression that everything is fine and that she may have got it. I am from I am a ways from over there now. I did not think about that. I should have called. But she might be on that side already because she was over there at the Sam. So we will see. But her boogie need that medicine though. The quicker we get them the, that infection to go away, the quicker we can get her going back to being a normal baby. Happy, carefree. Cause when she that, when she got the air fresher right now, she be. Blah, 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 blah. Well, that may have been the stomach bug she had, but she just been fussy with the air yeah. She ain't been going to sleep easily like she normally does. She been fussy wussy. We need her to be fussy wussy as a bear, not fussy wussy, not fussy wussy. We need her to be fuzzy wuzzy was a bear, not fussy wussy. So you know. But, uh, yeah, man, I just, I just count out the days. Like I told my car girls, 100 miles of running. Count out the days, so it's time to dip, do something different. You know, I'm excited, definitely excited. I'm definitely excited to sow the seed I have as well, too. Um, and I know for, like, listen to Gary see and things like that, when you sow a seed, you have to be very specific about what you're sowing. So I know I wanted to sow the seed, but I wanted to make sure it was written out. I was looking at it. I was praying over my seed before I released it, and I was going to write it out. And I had to do it. I procrastinated. But today at work, I did that. I did some other things. Like I told y'all before, the word for the year, the month, the day, is be intentional and meticulous. Be intentional. What in the freak is this Tesla doing? Be intentional and be meticulous. Be intentional and be meticulous. You need to be intentional with everything you want. You need to be intentional with what you want in life. My intention in life is to be, you know, financially free, mentally free, and creating health as well. So for me to do that, I need to be intentional with my goals. You know what I'm saying? And I need to be meticulous with them. Meticulous in the sense of making sure everything's done correctly, making sure everything's broke down into a plan. Like First Lady, like with her new business, I'm not even gonna give y'all the name yet because she's still, she got the name, but she's gonna do all the stuff. She's already like dictated a spreadsheet, Excel sheet about how she's gonna make the money, which is great because I'm like, man, I should do that with my water, but I didn't. But she has those type of things. She's very meticulous with that. She knows how much she has to sell the product, how much product she needs to sell, how she gonna sell it, how she has all that laid out. And now she's all about getting it and going there, which I know she will because she's ecstatic, she's happy about it, and I'm happy for her. So with that being said, Intentional and meticulous. Intentional and meticulous. When you have those two things about your dreams or what you want in life, then the things that you want will come to you. And that's what I'm being this year. Meticulous and intentional. I'm going to be intentional with what I want. And that is to be financially free, mentally free, and creative health as well. And that is by having, that is by doing what I love to do, being full time at it. Not worried about someone else taking care of me. Creating my avenues, creating my lanes. But to be that, I have to be intentional. I have to be meticulous. What's my plan? How am I gonna get there? Am I gonna get there by doing what I'm doing now? Am I gonna get there by a product? If I'm gonna do a product, how much time? What am I doing? 
I'm doing about the videos, how much time I dedicate to the videos, what do I do for the videos, do I have thumbnails for the videos, am I posting shorts, am I posting daily, do I have this, do, you know what I'm saying, to be, you need to be meticulous with these things because it's not going to just come overnight, you have to go out there and promote yourself, and you have to make sure you get into the lanes and the avenues to promote yourself, do I need to promote myself through YouTube, through, uh, through pictures, I mean, how do I get more viewers, how do I get more subscribers, how do I get more people to check me out, you know what I'm saying, you have to be meticulous and intentional with what you want. So that's what I'm doing this year. That is the two things that I'm going to be. I'm going to be I'm being more intentional and more meticulous with what I want. And that is to be creating my own income, my own wealth, and being able to spend the time that I want to spend with my family, whatever I want. And I want that for you as well, too. Whether it be creating a new job, whether it be paying up your bills, whether it be, you know, finding a higher paying job, whatever it may be, I want that for you as your accountability partner. So with that being said, keep living your life. Because if you don't, your life is not going to live 